one person over grip. How's that? Okay. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm picky. Okay, come here. Let's go. One percent. Yep. <laughs> You're good enough to do it. I have faith in you. So we just got done our uh, first practice. Uh, we got Fox over here tuning shocks. Said Brocky's a little too soft. Brocky showed up a little soft today. <laughs> and, and Corey's telling me I showed up a little soft today too because he's telling me I got to commit, commit a little more. I didn't properly introduce Corey last time. So Corey owns a sprint car school. Cruzman sprint yep. car school? Corey, Corey Cruzman sprint Corey car. Corey Cruzman guy. sprint car school. I went there seven years ago. It's been a long time. Seven, eight years time, ago. Man. And I uh, learned a lot about driving on the dirt and feeling for grip and uh so he's a bit coached us at sturgis because he's a champion on dirt and he works a lot of top guys so i suckered in to come work with me and lauren so now he's about to show me where i need to stop being a wimp well you just made me look not soft no more thanks <laughs> <laughs> so it's crandon these are little kitty carts just wide open everywhere kids so on race day, all of this grass will just be a sea of people. You almost turn right a couple times and then turn left. Right. I want you to jump from the furthest where, where it's packed and then it starts to get rough and then there's those two weird tire marks. Yeah. See where that's at? Oh, yeah, I like still. it. Oh, we'll try one and if it yeah. needs to be adjusted, I can adjust it. But. You can always put it back in, right? Yeah. Super glue, fix everything. How deep is that? Thanks. What's going on here, bud? So we're grooving the tire, um, trying to give a little more traction for steering. Is that something just to this track, this yeah. style track? Yeah, for the short course racing. Um, it's track gets wet and sticky, dry, whatever, there's multiple, I mean, you, you can groove tires 50 different ways for different tracks. You know, it's funny how to do Hey, it's kind of like welding. You mean, give you a chair and a mask? Concept, I can sit down and be like, oh, hey, From the Florida State, we're working on the... On Dude, the that's it. I mean, you just came at the right time, believe me. Clint's been doing all this. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Sorry. Did it come out? I feel like it's in, my side's in. Yeah. Got some hummus. Got some some hummus pita, on pita, huh? dude. Oh, let me get let me get some of that. <laughs> what is this here? Nitto. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> What'd you say is gonna what? I said he yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Got that one oh, okay. Trying a different pattern over here. I see. Just trying to get more forward drive. There's such slow speed corners. That we're just trying to get straight forward bite. Do most people in this field do this or not? No. I have a girl that grows my tires that has a right arm the size of my calf. <laughs> She's awesome. Let's see what's going on with, with Eric here. He's about, about to go out for qualifying. Edie, how you feeling today, Don? Feeling pretty good. We're yeah. going to go out there, be smooth where we need to be smooth, be aggressive where we need to be aggressive, and we're going to lay down a killer qualifying time. Uh, figure top five, anywhere in the top five, we're going to be a good gate pick since it's a land rush start, and uh, we'll get out there and do our best and uh, come race day, we'll see how it all pans out. Giddy up. How's Giddy this track up. compared to uh, where were we at last? Sturgis. Sturgis, short Sturgis. track. Uh, it's a, Similar it's a bit setup. shorter. A uh, bit shorter. Uh, yeah, it's a short course race. Uh, they've added some rock to it and uh, it's it's good. It's flowy, fast. I mean, it's freaking Crandon. It, uh, one of the best tracks on the planet. So. Good luck out there, dog. Go get him. Hey, greetings, we're here, the boys are going out qualifying. Hey, welcome yes, to the Yes, we are, quality time. You just, uh, we're talking to your boy ED, he was sending out there for practice, getting, getting her warmed up for you. He did, and he did good. He also destroyed two wheels, but we won't talk about that. We gotta beat him up about some of them. Mm. Talk about a wheel budget, you know, we give Chelsea a lot of <laughs> budget. Yeah, Eric's got a wheel budget now. Wheel budget. 
Only two, at least it wasn't four. It was at least it wasn't a control arm roof, or something. The roof is still clean. The roof is still clean. <laughs> that These are facts you're spitting. Well, they've all moved. Smooth. That Why was the first lap, though. Oh, yeah. Now they're all moved. Yep. Good there. I didn't land how you set on the tires there, but I'm more committed to here than I've been. So we're here at the famous Labor Day Parade at Crandon. Uh, this is basically downtown Crandon. Everybody comes down, brings their buggies. There's everything from the Beatles bugs to the kids car kitty cards utvs uh all the badass pro 2 pro 4s all of our badass ultra 4s it's wild i mean quite the spectacle uh this is a long-standing uh thing that's done every year forever i don't know how long it's been going on but it's been going on for a lot of years pretty rad so the whole team's out here Race trucks are out on display and I'm just cruising, checking it all out, seeing a lot of a lot of friends I haven't seen in a while. Always a good time to get the race weekend started. And then in a little bit, there's gonna be a, a parade that everybody is out. Uh, and just people build some, locals build some crazy things to show off in the parade every year. So I'm pretty pumped for that. They catching some fishies over here? Couple. Eric said he caught like a 45 inch <laughs> pike out there. We drinking daiquiris? Dude, it's got gummy bears. It's daiquiris with gummy bears. I taxed a couple of gummy bears, they're nice and hard. Special delivery. Just got to the house where the race team is staying. We're uh, split up. There wasn't one big enough for all of us. Oh, is this why it's called Crystal Lake? Because it is crystal, crystal clear. So we're we're all the way down there. I guess that's not that bad actually. No, of a paddle. No, nope, I'll been, tell you, I'm honestly. From I know when we were on the phone. Right you yeah, but I know I've been talking right for an hour. Mm -hmm. But I would say I am kind of nervous to paddle that far because I feel like my shoulder blades would be so sore by tomorrow night. Bro, I watched you do 10, 10 push ups the other day. You're yeah, good. Yeah, for paddling. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like cool. a quarter mile, a half mile, maybe. Uh, it's a quarter. My guess is 6,000 feet. No way, dude. Think about a drag strip. 
People it's run to the crash cars. Definitely not six thousand feet. <laughs> yeah. it's, our place. It's it's freaking three quarters. I'm our house. I'm sure you where our house is. Yep. We got we got there. science, dude. Yeah, hook that up and see if you can catch one What's with a nail. What's the trick to hooking it? Give me. Good a thing we brought Gavin to the race. He was able to make a nail for us so we could go fishing. The freaking a lunatic. With, I mean, probably this freaking fine finishing nail lure right here. Uh, Gavin Custom. Okay. Let's see if we pull a fish off of that right there. I feel like I'm already getting nibbled on right now. Because you're in the weeds. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do a little. Right All right, look. Get it. That is up. Get it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, he had a big bite. I told you. I yanked him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, you I told you. You, you got to pull in real. I did just pull it like crazy. I know. Because you're gonna. It's not <laughs> as sharp as a hook either. He was just sitting there chilling, I... and his pole went like this. <laughs> That's right, fools. We out of here. Nature. Oh, sh he just jumped out. There. Catching dinner out here. What? There's no one out here, you yeah. narc. Got me a pipe. Woo! Yeah, got that pipe. It's for fun. Just for fun. Little line right there. <laughs> here we go. We out here doing the kayak thing. Getting a little chill time before our race tonight. We don't race till dark like 8 45 so we just out here cruising eric my co-dog we found uh we see an eagle's nest we're gonna go scope out the eagles the little baby eagles have been like squawking so we're gonna go check them out we good uh we just need to get out there and when that freaking when they throw that flag son we need to go we need to be aggressive be smart and keep the truck together uh, and yeah, you see the eagle right there? Right there. Uh, it doesn't have the bald head yet. Oh, he's got like a dark head. Oh, yeah. Don't think we can go too much further than this. Nope. I see some pirates. We got a license for fun, mate. License for fun, yes you do. <laughs> Ramming speed! <laughs> Ramming speed! <laughs> You catching anything, bro? We're out here catching all types of things. I'm gonna make a smoothie here in a minute. Yeah, this spot was like the most basic of basic breakfast. Like there was nothing to it. Yeah. yeah. It was cheese. just eggs and like plastic cheese, perfect. The world's oh. largest soup kettle. Oh, oh yeah, it looked like the government cheese, you know. Go ahead, give us a cast, dude. Show us your cast skills, angler. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh, it got tangled. Oh yeah. <laughs> What do we got going on here? Is this a secret we're not allowed to, we're not allowed to divulge right I mean, It's easy cleanup. It's Pam. Keeps the dirt off. You know about this? About what? We're cooking pancakes out here now? Eggs. Oh, yo, no, that's for keeping mud off. We put this on a truck. So the mud comes right off after the races. What are you working on? Some type S lights? Just wiring in some type S lights so we can uh, see the suspension move in a, in a red glow during the night race. Right, we have a night race today, so thanks to the best for the... Sweet lights. Had some wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact, car flew up in the air and did a front flip. Lost, barn turn. Barn turn. Under the bridge, lost his wheels. Lost a car type. No. Nope. <laughs> no, nope. I, I don't got a hat deal, no, dog. You got a hat deal, dude. No hat deal, bro. I'm telling you, dude. The coveted, <laughs> the coveted hat deal, bro. All right. For being such a badass crew, dog. Uh, a friend. Fair enough. You're in, dude. All right. When, when do I collect that check? Yes. <laughs> Here come the Pro 2s. Got the rip. All right, so I'm sitting here just giving, giving Brocky a little pep talk. Letting him know that I had to be a little harder on him today than I was in Sturgis. We got a bigger track. I got to be more committed. I got to just run him hard. 
Whereas the Surges, I was able to be a little bit more clean, a little nicer. Today, Rocky, there is just gonna go down and do what we gotta do. And so basically 25 to 30 trucks will be all lined up. Uh, it'll be probably two rows and they drop the flag and we all go from a dead stop into that first turn. It'll be about 100 miles an hour going into turn one. And then uh, it's on from there. Just, you know, the thing here with this type of start is we've got open wheels. We don't have fenders like the Pro Lights and Pro 2s and Pro 4s. So you don't want to touch wheels because if you touch wheels, somebody's going over. So there's this like level of aggression, aggressiveness, but also awareness. And uh, it's, it's crazy out there. Straight up, it is really, really hairy, but... Oh yeah, that's where we put the pancakes, baby. <laughs> All right, it's almost go time. Me and Eric are ready. Lauren, you ready? Let's go. What's it gonna take to win tonight? A little bit of patience, whole lot of <laughs> throttle, and let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 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 So I was good, and, I was good. But then it just came apart, and I was like, if I try to go through a rock pile again, I'm Yeah, you gotta smoke. Are you? Front or rear? Front or left. Congrats. Yeah, awesome. I thought you were second, then we were like, oh, wait, no, we gotta I know, I'm so pumped when you pulled up. I'm like, I know. We got one and two. I, I know, know. We I know. We were like, And then Porter's like, no, he changed his tire. Uh -huh. he's, just, he's just messing with him, trying to get him to screw up. I just shove, shoving it in in every corner, showing, showing him my front bumper. Every corner. Yeah. Dude, you can thank you. You can just see him going. <gasps> and he, down. he just rock piled. Just tired. Sideways. Oh, yeah. Blue, blue tire yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Restaurant, on me, started getting on squirrely oh, all the yeah. turns. Yeah. And I was like, we're so good. And then uh, we got a flat. We were still ripping right with him with the flat. And eventually came apart, and I was like, I felt one time when the rocks, I'm like, yeah, we're gonna blow the front arm off of this thing. Yeah. Time to change it. Yeah. It was only like, and then we got out after they changed it, we're on the white flag. Oh. What we should have done, because I was right behind you, I was like 20 cars behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, what we should have done was call you and let you let us get on the lead lap. Gotcha. Get back first at Crandon for you, son. Three. I won three. Last time. See if I can make it four in a row tomorrow. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting a flat tomorrow. Paul's mode. <laughs> well, that stupid rock pile is horrible. I know. It's horrible. Oh, we'll <laughs> Dang, son. From podium to pool and shit, huh? Yeah, son. That's how it goes some nights. Yeah, that's oh. how it going tonight. <laughs> what happened? Is this the piece? This, this, part, of, this part of the piece. Yeah. You said these bolts came loose or not? Uh, some of the bolts in the rest of the case, the other the other half of the case came loose. Yeah, some of these were coming loose again too. I don't know, some some vibrations or something. I I don't know. We've got a spare one. I think we're just gonna throw a spare in there and win tomorrow. And win again tomorrow. Good morning, friends. It is a beautiful morning here in Crystal Lake, just outside of Crandon. It's our, our second race of the weekend. Yesterday was an ultra four points race. And today is the world championship. Uh, I've just been spending a lot of time reflecting on yesterday, watching videos, thinking about things to change. We know we're on pace. Um, we just cannot afford to take the risks that we took yesterday and get another flat. So just really been thinking about that. Uh, really, really proud of our performance yesterday. Uh, just that, you know, one mistake in the rocks. I think I got a little bit sideways. And, you know, we ask a lot of our tires, but, you know, at some point, you know, there's a limit. And uh, we don't usually find it, but we did yesterday. And so 
Um, really proud of how I've been able to. I only had seven laps before yesterday's uh, race. So, you know, every lap is another learning experience. And, you know, yesterday I went in with the mindset that I need to get a little bit more aggressive. I need to be a little bit more committed fully on throttle earlier. And so during the race yesterday, I focused on that every single turn and really got into a good flow. So today the hope is put it all together. But uh, just before heading into the track, I wanted to walk down here and check out this beauty of the lake. What an amazing place. Ready to party. First uh, first stop, I'm gonna go to the track and stop in and see Fox real quick. And I think we went a little bit too far on the front end with some of the changes we made. We softened it up a bit and I think we went a little bit too far and uh, created a little bit of pushy situation or really more like a porpoisey situation all, when I'm on the brakes and all, like slightly adjusting the throttle, the truck's doing this and not really settling. So I'm gonna go talk to Mike over there at Fox and he'll help us put some magic in the shocks for today. So let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna head in, uh, see our friends at Fox. Get a little whoop. Factory support, baby. See, I was like, so, it's so, it, I don't remember it happening that, that quick. And the other thing is, is we have a lot more travel in your car than they do in short course as well. Yeah. So you're gonna get that movement. Sure. Uh, and especially cause like, you know, this is set up more as, as a desert race car. Yeah. And in desert racing, we don't like a lot of slow speed volume because that's what gives us comfort. Yeah. So if we have little uh, low speed valving, then it lets that wheel start moving. How do the seats feel, boys? Awesome. Good, Good answer. Yeah, yeah, right? It's nice. Everybody is a uh, little spin to win action. Getting some free goodies. What up? Who's the fastest today? Me. You are? Me. You are? Yep, well, you got a good shirt on. That shirt's probably making you faster, I think. Oh, yeah. Look yep. at my lap time right now. There you go. 107? No, he's got a uh, five away right now. I'm going the wrong way, too. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Oh, OK. Appreciate that. You doing good, cousin? Go Getting your nutrition that, in? Get my yeah, buddy. Fun to have a Bronco. These are all of our uh, Bronco parts, which I think I've sh I showed you guys in South Dakota. We made some revisions in South Dakota. We've got our push bar on here. See how it's nice and low there. Um, the only other thing we've got to do is add the sensors for the, the clearance, or sorry, for proximity sensors. You can see we've got our box shocks in there with our upper arm, of course our bead locks. Uh, we shortened the rock rails a little bit because at compression, uh, they were touching uh, with 37s on, so we changed that. And in the rear bumper, uh, we added uh, the parking sensors and then tightened up some of these gaps. We weren't happy with the gaps, so we tightened it up. And so, you know, the fun haver parts are a lot more hardcore, right? The, the rock rails get welded on. The bumpers have really, really high clearance. But, you know, they, they uh, just are a lot more for the hardcore off-roader, whereas RTR is functional off-road. It can handle more hardcore, but it's a lot easier for install and a lot more stylistically inspired, whereas the fun haver stuff still looks sick, but it's very... Uh, functional inspired for the hardcore guy. Kodog getting down, son, giving us that magic. Giving us that magic. Gavin over here giving us that special match groove set. Woo! So this basically just scuffs them up. When you get tires at a certain temperature, um, they get like a, the oil of them comes out and until you give them that temperature, that oil doesn't go away. So if you grind it off, you got fresh, fresh start every time. So he's scuffing that up and then Gavin's working on getting us a little bit more front bite, front drive out of the corners, basically effectively putting more uh, edges on the tire for it to grab. 
just trying some more things. I mean, today is a, a money race, it's not a points race. So for us, you know, we want to do well, but we also want to learn because it'll make us better, you know, for the entire next year. So just trying some new things. Uh, this is our first year working with Fox. They've got a lot of great advices, not only just the suspension, but overall, given all the vehicles they support from short course to desert to Ford to ultra four. So um, just taking some of that knowledge and kind of, you know, applying it to, to feel some new things. So what you got there? Like moto days. We don't need these in drift. These are tear offs. So if we end up getting some roost and they got some wet, wet track, we will, uh, I'll just be able to pull the tear offs. What have you been doing? Keep on before? going. Uh, I mean, I always run tear offs on short course races. Uh, when we're in the desert, you don't need them. You really just need a rag to wipe the dust. So here's the trick. So you fold, fold one over. That way when you pull it, see so you pull it and then this one comes out. So you can just pull the next one like that. How'd you guys find that trick off? I feel Motor like cross. I feel like I remember a time I watched Lauren in car just peel them all off. Yeah, you know, he probably got frustrated with them. <laughs> but yeah, this is a motocross trick. He's be up in a jump, and be like, jump. Really? In the jump? Oh yeah. That's the time to do it in a jump. It's the only time you can let off your handlebars on a dirt bike, really. So you always just wait for a jump and then just do it real quick. There we go. Boom. Crystal clear, boys. That's a good trick. All right. Let's do this. Let's do it, baby. World Championship coming up. Lauren's trying to get his second win of the weekend. I'm trying to get my first. And uh, this is for, for the bragging rights. We had points yesterday. And this will be Lauren's fourth win uh, and my first. So let's do it, bro. Patience. Patience, be there at the end, and let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Yes, one and two. Where's your where's your guy? I gave it to a little kid. You did? You yeah. gave it away? Yeah. That's nice of you. <laughs> yeah. You already got one of those. Or four, 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 four. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, amazing, amazing race. Uh, Lauren got in first, first lap. I was probably fifth first lap and then just started picking people off, being smart, being patient. Um, had an epic battle with Paul for like three, four laps and uh, finally got around him and perfect weekend. Perfect weekend. Absolutely. No, I'm, I'm so stoked. My radio communications went out on the first jump. The whole race? Yeah, the knob, I hit the jump so hard, I think the knob just clicked down a channel Holy and I crap. couldn't figure it out. So all I could do was look back in every corner rotated <laughs> to see where you and Paul were at. And I watched you guys battle the whole race and I was like, dude, this is so awesome. <laughs> I kept waiting for Paul to try to stab it in on me, but. He wasn't getting there, dude. You were so clean. You drove so smart. I was. And uh, uh, we got, dude, we got, my Bro Brocky was ripping. It was so perfect. Uh, you were right there on the same pace. I wasn't putting any ground on you guys. You yeah. guys were right there running my exact pace. I just had 10 cars on you and wasn't gonna let you have it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we've been talking about this one and two. You know, we've the progression that we've had as drivers and as a team over the last year has just been I, something I never even dreamed of. And here we are, Crandon, World Championship, World Cup. Oh, yeah. Two. One and two, baby. Fun out off road team. Two Broncos. Couldn't be a better place to do two. it. 50,000 people here watching us. God dang. <laughs> That's so rad. Dude. To say proud and proud. Oh, amazing. Yep. Elated, dude. Let's go enjoy the rest of the day. Let's do it.